trigonometric identity in this section we will identify what is an identity what is the definition so the definition is an identity is an equation which is always true we are taking a very simple algebraic equation so we have 2x plus x plus 3 equals 3x plus 3 so this equation is always true for all values of x for example, when I say x is 1, so then it's 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. And this right side is also 3 plus 3 is 6. If you say x equals 0, 2 times 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3 in the left side. And the right side is also 3. So this type of equations are called identities. So now we'll be talking about trig identities. We consider a right triangle where hypotenuse is H, adjacent is A and the opposite is O with respect to the reference angle X. Now from the definition of SOH, so we know that sine X equals O over H. Because sine X equals A over H. And also we know from the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus O squared equals H squared. Now let us divide each term by H squared. So you get this, this, and this. So this can be written as A over H squared O over H squared equals 1. Now by definition I can write A over H is cosine. So you can write this one as cosine squared x plus this one is sine squared x equals 1. So this one is called trigonometric identity. And why do we call it identity? Because of this angle x. Say so that my reference angle is now y, not x. Still you have a, you have o, you have h. So if you refer to this triangle, which is right triangle, you will still find cosine squared y plus sine squared y equals 1. So for all values of this angle here, always sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1. So this is called the first trigonometric identity because it is true for all values of x. Now if you consider the reference angles you have in the first quadrant, say x is 30 degree. So cosine squared 30 plus sine squared 30 will be 1. If you say x is 45 degree, cosine squared 45 plus sine squared 45 equals 1. Radian measure or degree measure, whatever you use, sine squared x plus cosine squared x always will be giving 1. And that's why we call it trigonometric identity. We also know these relations by definition cosecant x is 1 over sin x, secant x is 1 over cosin x, tangent x is sin x over cosin x, and cotangent x is cosin x over sin x. So the tangent-cotangent relation is reciprocal, or you can say tangent x is 1 over cotangent, or cotangent x is 1 over tangent x, either way. So now we will produce another two identities with some manipulations. So now, First identity we have, let us divide our first identity by sine squared x. So we get sine squared x over sine squared x plus cosine squared x over sine squared x equals 1 over sine squared x. So in this case, we are dividing each term by sine squared x. So sine squared over sine squared is 1 plus cosine over sine we have seen here is tan cotangent. So this, this one will be cotangent squared x and 1 over sine is cosecant. So then cosecant is squared x. So this is our second identity. We go to third one. From the first one, if you divide both sides by cosine squared x. So you get sine squared x over cosine squared x plus 
cosine squared x over cosine squared x equals 1 over cosine squared x. Now you can see sine over cosine is tangent. So you are getting tangent squared x. Cosine squared over cosine squared is 1. 1 over cosine we see secant. So this one will be secant squared x. So we got our third identity. So the first identity we are getting from the definition of Sokka and using Pythagorean theorem. And after that, when you divide your first identity all terms by sine squared x, you get the second one. When you divide all the terms by cosine squared, you get the third one. So now it is very important that we remember sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1. 1 plus cotangent squared x is cosecant squared x. And 1 plus tan squared x or tan squared x plus 1 is secant squared x. These are very important identities we are using. So in the next video, I'll talk about more about the application of all these three identities.